Welcome to another installment of 5 Minute Tones. On today's video, I want to show you how to get the iconic Yamaha SPX90 Symphonic Chorus in your Axe FX3. These sounds are included in my blocks library, which is linked in the video description. And a massive shout out to my buddy Nicholas all the way over in Sweden. I measured my SPX90 with Nicholas and he being the absolute audio wizard that he is, was able to take the measurements that I made of my SPX90 and recreate them using the blocks in the Axe FX. And the blocks that he used were a pair of multi-tap delay blocks. So uh, essentially very similar short delays in all of them with time modulation coming from the mod section in here. You can see the two blocks look really, really similar on surface level. They've got the same mix. They've got the same delay times, levels, and panning in here. The difference is that in the time modulation section of the second multi-tap delay, there is a 90 degree LFO phase offset as opposed to the first one up here. The master section has a bunch of deep tweaks and there's some EQ happening in there as well, just basically to match it as closely to the real SPX90 hardware. So what I wanna do is just bypass these. We'll hear the raw amp tone at the moment. I'm using the USA Mark IV lead mid for all the dirt. I've got my free cab IR, again, linked in the video description and a bit of the gold plate reverb. We'll hear it dry then with the two multi-taps. It's so good. <laughs> my blocks library and you want to load these in, you can see that I've just connected the two blocks in parallel. All you have to do is go to the library tab, select SPX Symphonic A for the first block and SPX Symphonic B for the second block, and then you are good to go. If you are going to bypass the blocks, I would suggest on the second multi-tap delay, set the bypass mode to mute effects in, and then you're good to go. What's really nice in this combo is adding this 10-tap delay. The SPX90 has a dual delay with an interesting feedback structure on it that I was able to cop with this. You can see the structure of the tap. So it's basically like a 375 millisecond delay and a 500 millisecond delay, but they play off one another in this interesting fashion. So if you like big greasy leads, have the multi taps on and this rhythm tap delay, it's so fun. <laughs> Let's check out some of the other iconic patches in the SPX90 that are recreated in this patch, namely Pitch Change B, Pitch Change C, and then the Mike Landau Womanizer settings, which have been circulating around in guitar circles for a long time. What's interesting is that Pitch Change B is essentially a mono version of Pitch Change C. It's the same detuned voices panned straight down the center, whereas on Pitch Change C, they are panned hard left and hard right. So uh, let's hear those clean and dirty. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm going to pull up stumps for today. Hopefully you enjoy these settings. The blocks library and the patch is linked in the video description if you like what I do here on the channel and you want to hear some music that I make. The Ragdoll discography is linked in the video description along with my Patreon. The fun thing about patches like this is that you can combine, say, the pitch change C settings on top of the symphonic settings with that 10 tap delay and just bathe in all the glorious grease like there's no tomorrow or like the 80s never ended. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.